a, a desperately sad story that will uh, cause a ripple of shock all around the world for his many fans. Well, indeed it will, and so far no information from the Paris police on the details of what happened in that hotel room. Uh, this, this is a tragedy of, of unparalleled proportions, and I, I, I don't use that phrase lightly. Suicide rates in the United States have increased 25 percent since 1996, and uh, Bourdain's death comes in the wake of uh, the fashion designer Kate Spade uh, hanging herself uh, at her, in her apartment in New York. As for Bourdain, uh, uh, he was a great journalist. He was also, you know, a chef and a TV star, but he knew how to write. He was a great storyteller. He explained the human condition. He also advocated for marginalized people by simply telling their stories, and he operated with a simple principle, which was that food tells us more about a people than any other indicator you can imagine. Craig, for those who don't know his work, his books really did shock uh, a world of uh, restaurant uh, clients and takeaway customers, didn't it? Oh, well, they sure did, because Anthony was the... Uh, uh, he was an insider, but he was, he was a natural-born journalist, and he was the first person to actually report on the realities that were going on inside the kitchen, inside the multi-billion dollar global restaurant industry, and I'm talking about from the farm to the table. And he would go anywhere for a story, anywhere. And, and he really knew how to portray the human condition. I called him an advocate. Uh, actually, that's not entirely correct. His, his stories were so good that you became wrapped up in his characters and, and the various individuals who he met with in the fields, impoverished farmers, downtrodden workers who are producing food, you know, for, for everyone on the planet. Uh, it's, 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 it's really sad. He was honest, he was curious, and he, he never had a nasty thing to say about anyone. Craig.